Hey, yo, what's good with y'all? So, as y'all can see from the title of this video, y'all can see that we trying to make a song like Joe Kenji. I'ma show y'all exactly how to do it, you feel me? And this is a beat. Shout out my boy Reeves, man. I don't know how he got this beat with Nick Mira and Pario, but fuck it. We here, you feel me? We here. This is the goat himself with the mini goat and then the mini mini goat. So we got the king, prince, and the fucking whatever's, I don't know. But yeah, we gonna get straight to this, you feel me? I might just make this an open just to make this a quick little video for y'all. But we gonna hop right back into this right when I finish my verse. Let's go. All right, bro, y'all already know what time it is, you feel me? We back, we back. Back, you feel me? We back. So basically, y'all know how this works. I'm gonna basically just play the whole thing the entire way through, and then I'm gonna pick apart each section by preset. Hey, and if y'all didn't know, the Demon Time preset is in the description. If y'all didn't know, this exact template, I renamed it. This the updated template, the 2022 October 26, 11 o'clock template. You feel me? It's called Demon Time. If y'all want this exact template, it's called Demon Time. But yeah, let's go. With adrenaline, I just swear to God, yeah, your pussy is my medicine. That shit feels so good, swear to God, I need more of it. Baby, got my heart locked up like a pendulum. I need you now. I need to see your smile. High up in the clouds, go up on the prow. Shawty said I got me some endurance. And she knows she hot like the sun, yeah, she burns. Hey, bro, <laughs> ah, that shit fire, you feel me? Punching in type shit, freestyling type shit. Shout out Nick Mirror, shout out Pario, shout out Reeves. We here. But yeah, on to the official breakdown. As y'all know, Kenji likes to have these spacey ass ad libs, whether it be in the midst of the song, like backing up his vocals or ad libs, whatever the fuck. He likes to have these very spacey fucking vocals. That's where this comes in. And that's basically the Reno shuffle. What I basically did on this was I upped the delay, I upped the reverb the entire way up, I upped a little bit of the chorus, and that's pretty much it, I think. I upped the volume a little bit too. But yeah, it's pretty much the exact same preset. And then this is the vocals preset that I love to use. Give it a little bit more spaciness, you feel me? And yeah, nothing too overcomplicated. Use those harmonization techniques that I talk about in my previous videos. Go up an octave, down an octave. You want to make sure that you balance it out as much as possible. And yeah, this is the co ad lib that I talked about in my last video. It's basically the black, but it's manipulated. And yeah, this is probably one of the hardest ad libs that I ever fucking made in my life. I'm not gonna lie. Shout out SSG Kobe. This is how it sounds by itself, if y'all don't already know. That shit is fire. And then when it drops with the beat too. Yo, y'all niggas cannot tell me that shit is not fire, bro. Again, everything in the Google Drive link is free, bro. It's literally in the description. If you want it, go copy it. If not, fuck it. We move on, you feel me? I hope y'all still enjoy the video, you feel me? We gonna be chilling. And then for this, the main vocals are basically the Eric DOA preset, the one that I always use. I just tweak it a little bit sometimes. In this case, I didn't really touch anything apart from the high band, putting it down to zero. It would usually be at around two, but I just put it all the way down to zero. And with no ad-libs at all, this is how the main vocals sound. Shawty said I got me some endurance. She knows she hot like the sun, yeah, she burning. Hit it from the black, 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 when she twerking. Specking on that ass, ass, ass. I'm so learning. Huh. 
pretty cool, pretty cool. As y'all can hear, there's a lot of delay on there. Um, good amount of reverb. You know, it's it's compressed pretty well. It's the EQs are working to where they need to work. Again, this is my own personalized EQ. I literally have my own setting right here for it. You guys can create your own setting as well. I taught you guys how to create EQs in some of my previous videos, so go check back on that if you want to look upon that. You want to, you feel me, make your own EQ because everybody needs their own EQ, bro. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing shit. These little like basic ones to where they fit every like these are the most generic ones. It just takes out lows and then boost a, a little bit of the highs. It's It doesn't do much for you. Whereas if you attack your own specific frequencies like I have right here, and it looks crazy, but a lot of the terrible frequencies that I have in my voice tend to be in the high end. So I minimize them and you get shit like that. You feel me? It works out in the end, I'm telling you always make your own eqs if you need to make your own compression as well feel me because not all compression is going to work the same either these are some more reno shuffle ad libs um slightly panned to the right now the reason why i pan them slightly to the right is because i don't want them clashing with the main vocals you feel me i want everything centered but not too centered to where they're clashing with each other kenji tends to do this a lot his ad libs are crazy as fuck shout out the engineers at, at um at internet money y'all do your fucking thing bro some of the best engineers i've ever fucking heard in my life kenji's vocals are not like i definitely recommend that you that you download these two tracks maybe not the reverb but it's you need the ozone here are my ozone settings if you want to copy my ozone settings you can copy them this exact presets in the link in the description it's gonna say oh it's gonna say imager again route your main to here because look if i take these off this is how the fucking main vocal sound i know y'all hear the difference bro it's literally night and day he has flow manipulation techniques. He tends to use harmonization techniques a lot as well. And he tends to space out his vocals as much as he possibly can. Now, the third one is, it kind of goes hand in hand with the mixing as well. Because the mixing has to be good in order for you to like really space out and widen your vocals. Um, But in terms of the other two, I can talk about that right now. I kind of touched base on like the harmonization techniques a little bit. Where you go up an octave and then, or you go down an octave. Either way, one vocal has to be one octave above the other. You can't have them on the same like pitch. Because then the, they're they're just gonna clash like i was talking about with with these you want them off the center line in some type of way and that's exactly what i was doing in terms of the first thing the flow manipulation basically meaning you want to switch things up as much as you possibly can kenji never stays on one direct flow throughout the entire song he never does it you can point out one song you can't point out one song to me that he stays the entire way through the exact same flow the exact same tone the exact same it it doesn't exist. Kenji's really, really fucking good at this shit. I literally did it just there. Certain type of flow right here, switch it up. Literally did it in the next bar. You have to switch it up in the next bar. You have to continuously just keep switching shit up. And she know she hot like the sun. Like you get what I'm saying? Like you just gotta, you feel me? Feel it out, bro. Genuinely feel out the music, bro. You have to fucking feel it. You have to mean everything that you're saying. Speak from experience, bro. As an artist, you definitely need experience. That's probably one of the most important things that I would genuinely see. Like you need experience, bro. So energy definitely plays into the flow manipulation. Little breathing tactics like I just explained right here and she know she hot like the sun yeah she burning it's kind of hard to stay on beat all the time so again i i reiterate in every single one of my songs go here to the main snap go to none use this slicing tool slice away you feel me then click on your declicking mode and make sure everything is on generic bleeding so that way you can properly move the clip around and the volume will blend into the next audio clip and yeah this part of the hook sounds different from this part of the hook this part of the verse sounds different from this part of the verse this sounds completely like the bridge sounds completely different from every single part of the song you basically want to sectionize it like that but when it comes to Joe kenji songs to where these are very bouncy beats and very ambient switch them up as much as you possibly can i'm telling you it'll work out for you um again all these presets are in the link in the description i talked about i don't want to keep talking about the same things every single video so if y'all want to look at a particular thing whereas if you want to learn about the stereo effect you want to go more in depth on harmonization i recommend that you watch a lot of the other juice world videos a lot of the other um first like the first couple videos that i have with the hyper pop shit even the weekend video that i dropped 
the other day. I'll talk, I'll talk a little bit about the stereo effect. I'm pretty sure. And uh, how to utilize ad libs with uh, this in, in particular, this one. I, I genuinely hope y'all enjoyed this video. I genuinely hope this, this helped y'all out in some type of way. Yeah, shout out Joe Kenji. Shout out everybody who made his beat. Reeves, Nick Mira, Pario. You get what I'm saying? Let's just, let's keep working, bro. Let's keep working. Let's stay consistent. Let's keep working. Y'all got this shit. Presets in the description. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, do all of that shit. Follow my Instagram. Follow my TikTok. Subscribe to me on whatever the fuck. Do whatever you got to do to support me. And I'm going to make sure that I support y'all as much as I can as well by giving you as much knowledge, as much presets, whatever I could do to help y'all. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this song. And I'm out. Peace.